So I bought this Fluke 8842A multimeter on eBay just a day or two ago. And um, I'm putting it through its paces to see how accurate and precise it is. And uh, what I intend to do right now is uh, look, take a look at how accurate it is at me measuring uh, resistance. Um, I'm using the four lead resistance capability, the four wire resistance capability of the device. Um, I just received this um, CADIC, um 0.1% accurate precision resistor network. It has four resistance values, um, 1,000 ohm, 100 ohm, 10 ohm, and 1 ohm. And um, I have in this uh, you know, little list of values there the um, max errors and the allowable range. Uh, if we stay within that spec of 0.1% error. And I also have up on the screen here the spec sheet for that CADIC resistor network. I have the um, model 1787-412. Uh, there's six pins. They run from pin number one on the left to pin number six on the right. It shows the layout of the resistors internally, and it also shows how to set up the sense lead and the current lead, the sense leads and the current leads um, for a four wire uh, measurement. Um, and so I got that set up here. Um, my sense leads have the uh, wire band around them, and then the other leads do not. Um, I'm currently set up with the um, uh, measuring the 1,000 ohm resistor, and we're looking at the value on the fluke in kilo ohms, and it's reading 0.99995 kilo ohms, which is 995. Excuse me, 999.95 ohms, and uh, just back to that uh, list you can see that's well within spec and I'm going to move the wire down to the next resistor which is the 100 ohm resistor and we get 100.003 ohms well within spec um, yeah moving it down again to the 10 ohm We get uh, 9.997 ohms, and um, yeah, that's well within spec as well. And then the 1 ohm, the last resistor, and that's showing 0.996, which is slightly out of spec. But overall, I'm very pleased with the way that this uh, device is working. Um, I picked it up for about $130. And um, yeah, it's old, but it's a very robust machine. So um, yeah, very happy with it so far. I'll be posting some more videos to do some more tests, voltage, current, etc. Thanks for watching.